Hello and welcome to this first lecture of this new section on understanding CAT success factors for this course on cracking your CAT examinations. So in this section we will give you an in-depth understanding of what can make you successful in a CAT examination in general. Not specific to your particular things but in general, what are the things that people have done that have caused them success and what can you pick out of those later on for you to succeed? And in this lecture, we're going to talk about specifically uh, the overview. We're going to give you an overview of the factors that are important in your success in general in the CAT examination, right? So what do you think? Any thoughts on what does it take to succeed in CAT examinations? CAT examination as well as similar competitive examination. There are many uh, similar examinations, CAT being at the top in India, but you could even consider GMAT for similar examination. You could come and consider other competitive examinations like CMAT, ZAT, etc. etc. So, what does it take to succeed in the CAT examination? Any thoughts? There are three things very broadly and uh, that you need to uh, look at and we will get into each of these in separate sections as we go forward. So planning, preparation and performance. And uh, let's look at not why they are important, why they would cause success, but why if you do not focus on them, how can they become obstacles in your success, right? Planning. Let's look at planning first. Now planning, this preparation for CAT and doing does take time, as you will see later on. It takes four to five months to a year, depending on how well planned are you or how well prepared are you to give your examinations. Now, anything which is longer than a few days, even a few days, you need to plan. And there are many things that you need to plan. And primarily, it is about the preparation so that you can do extremely well in your examinations when they come. So you need to plan. If you don't plan, you are not prepared. And if you are not prepared, you won't be able to perform and hence you won't be able to succeed in your CAT examination. So that's why the planning is critical. The second thing obviously is preparation, no brainer, but that's where now by itself <laughs> preparation is no brainer, but that's where the, the every inch of your brain, any ounce of your brain will get used. What to prepare, how to prepare, and if, and if you do not prepare well on the right things, so two important things, what are the right things to prepare? As we will talk later on, some of the uh, people on the web tell you to do crossword puzzles. Now, does the CAT examination come in the form of crossword puzzles? Not really. So what are the right things to prepare? So if you mindlessly prepare, then you are spending your time and money absolutely wasting it. So you need to then see what are the right things to prepare and how much to prepare and so well to prepare that you can come out with flying colors. And the best example I can give of preparation is uh, what Milka Singh used to do. You know, prepare so hard in the sand that when you want to run on the, on the road, you fly. So walk, practice in sand and then to be ready to fly on the road. So that's what your preparation aim and if you can do that, that's where you sow the seeds of your success in CAD examination. So you've done plan, you've done preparation, so finally the time comes to perform. Now the time of performance is only two hours. It used to be earlier I'm told three hours. Now it is down to two hours. In two hours you have to answer 66 questions last year, could be more, could be less this year. And so it's a matter of performing, giving your best in a very limited time and you do not have time to learn and think too much. So you must, you should be able to perform like a pro, like a person who is woken up in the middle of night and asks some questions and he rattles out the right answers. So that requires a lot of 
practice in preparation and you must be ready to perform like a professional when you go in the CAT examination. So how to perform again is a topic by itself that we will talk about as we go forward. So what do we do next? So having looked at very broadly the three critical success factors, we will now examine each one of them in lot more detail in this module starting with the next lecture on planning. And we will begin by asking questions like what do we mean by planning? What to plan and how to plan? So that's the what is in it for you in the next lecture. So thank you so much for watching this uh, first lecture of understanding CAT, CAT success factors to crack your CAT examination. I hope you're beginning to learn new things, beginning to enjoy and I do look forward to see you again in the next lecture. If you have any questions, do feel free to message me anywhere, any way that you think, uh, you, where you, wherever you see this video. I'll be happy to answer your questions and help you. Hello. In this short video, I'm going to talk to you about the point straight away on why should you take this course compared to any other course that you are considering for preparing for your CAT examination. First, this course is based on my personal experiences. I have done CAT personally uh, and I got admitted into IIM Bangalore uh, and I, I got shortlisted for A, B and C IIMs in 1979. As well as I've been coaching students uh, since nine, 2007 for preparing for CAT examination and many other competitive examinations. So I have some good idea of how can you crack any competitive examination. Second thing, but so there should be many other courses who can offer you to the same. Absolutely right. Now, how is this course different then? See, everyone, if you go on the web and search, everyone tell you what does it take to succeed in CAT, right? So that's not something that I'm not going to tell. I'm going to tell you new. But what I'm going to tell you is how can you succeed? What's your personalized strategy? A lot of people tell you do SWOT and have your own strategy, but no one tells you what can that look like. So this course, you will be able to see what a strategy for you to crack your cat would look like. How can you prepare it? And you will be able to actually prepare and perform and cat it. So go take a look at the whole course. Uh, there are many preview videos that you can see to get an idea of what will be the quality of the course and how can it benefit you. I'm not going to spend your time in telling you that. So go take a look at that and decide for yourself whether this is the right course for yourself.